After a tumultuous day in Greece which saw controversial austerity measures pass the parliament despite nationwide protests against the deal, we're now joined by Europe correspondent Philip Williams to fill us in on the detail. Philip, how much more austerity can these people take? Well, the answer to that is simply no more, and they're saying that loudly and clearly in their tens of thousands in the streets. They are feeling extremely battered. Uh, let's take wages. The cut to the minimum wage will mean that uh, the low paid will take home, uh, will not take home, this is before tax, 740 Australian dollars every month. Imagine living on that. Uh, for the young, 18 to 25, that's 400 euro a month. That's about 500 Australian dollars. It's bare subsistence, below subsistence. It's below the official poverty line. And the Greeks say they simply can't take any more of it. Add to that the job insecurities, the increasing cuts to the public service and the cuts to the pensions. And uh, people are saying, enough, we just can't take it anymore. Now, the Greek parliament has passed the package of measures, but that doesn't guarantee the $130 billion in bailout funds. What else has to happen before they get that money? You're quite right, and it's, it's quite a few hurdles to go through. Uh, the Euro, finance, Euro Group finance ministers are going to be meeting on Wednesday night. They have to tick it off. Then the German parliament has to tick it off. Uh, that'll happen uh, on February the 27th. We've got the uh, long-running negotiations with the, the private bondholders. That's a $100 billion, uh, deal. Uh, that has to be uh, settled too. And because, basically, the, the rest of Europe has lost faith in the, uh, in the Greeks' ability to deliver, uh, they've demanded that the Greek political parties all sign up to this, uh, virtually sign in blood that they will carry through with this because we've got elections coming up probably in the next couple of months it could all be swept away again uh, with, a, with a fresh government. So the, uh, the rest of Europe, is particularly the Germans, are saying, no, you will sign on the dotted line and you will carry out exactly what you've promised or no money. Philip Williams in London, thank you very much. Thanks.